Coach Rabel said earlier this week he considers you a starter now. You consider yourself a starter? Uh, I mean, that's a good question. I mean, you know, uh, whatever you know, decisions made. Uh, when I go out there, you know, uh, every Sunday, you know, I'm gonna deal with it. Whenever the opportunity is presented, you know, you know, I'm gonna take full advantage of it. Yeah. Yeah, we all three, you know, both positions, uh, you know, whether, you know, what package it is. Um, we're pretty familiar with each other and, you know, the scheme. So, you know, I don't think it matters, you know, what position, you know, each other play while we're out there. What have you done, uh, you know, in your time here today to kind of improve against the pass? You know, how did you start out? Uh, I think you're just getting more familiar, you know, what our defense is, you know, the techniques the coaches are teaching us. Um, and just repetition, again, you know, not only when it's like in practice, um, but also when it's a game, you know, when it's not just walk through or you don't know what you're getting, you know, how you adjust to those, you know, those situations. I think, you know, me being out there more is what's helping me. I noticed you got, you got a humble hype uh, armband on. What's, that, what's yep. that all about? The uh, it's, it's humble over hype. It's a, a nonprofit uh, that I was um, – that I uh, reached out to while I was down there in Texas. Um, pretty, pretty cool. You probably should look up on it. But it's basically like trusting in you know God and yourself. You know, over hype is what it is. Is what's the meaning behind it. <laughs> it's working good. <laughs> what stands out about the Jets' offense to you? Um, they have two pretty good backs. You know, a young uh, quarterback. You know, he's pretty nice. He can make a lot, a lot of throws. Um, CDs over there. Uh, you know, they have weapons. You know, so you know we better just come to play and take care of business on Sunday. You seem to arrive to the football first a lot. For you, was that, yeah. was that film study? Is that natural flow? Uh, I mean, yeah, you could say that. But then, you know, it's like a, mostly a mentality, you know, uh, whenever, you know, tired you know, or just playing fast, you know, seeing things, you know, before they happen, just having a feel for the game. Um, I think that's why, you know, I arrive a little faster. And as you continue to watch film, like, it happens. Being in the league, like how yeah. has that kind of progressed? Where you understand things better, you see things better. Right. Uh, I feel like you know a lot of the offenses throughout the league running a lot of the same stuff. You know, um, so once you study film, you out there more. You know, it just becomes more, uh, you know, easy just to see the stuff. And uh, whether it's how they put it or how they place the players, uh, it's pretty much the same throughout. You, know, you talk about instincts and arriving at the ball fast, man. How much do you feel like you're in a, a pretty good groove right now with how you're playing? Uh, I feel like I'm in a pretty good place. You know, uh, it's going to be a long season. Just have to stay healthy. You know, have to, you know, adjust week to week. You know, uh, different players. You know, uh, uh, just you know, just stay on top. Being consistent is my main focus right now. You guys in the front seven have talked this week about needing to, if you're the second guy to arrive, start ripping at the ball, yeah. trying to get some more turnovers. How much will that be on you guys' mind on Sunday? Uh, it's going to be on a lot. You know, we haven't had any since uh, the first game, I, I think. Um, so, you know, to go out there, you know, get a few turnovers. Um, we didn't have any this past Sunday. And Coach had three. I mean, we still won, but, you know, to you know change that is a, is a big thing for us. How much you kind of pride yourself in kind of being an energy guy, a guy who maybe – uh, you know, makes big hits, yeah. makes things happen out there. Um, I mean, I feel like that's just, you know, in my play, uh, just being out there on Sundays, not just about talk, but, you know, the energy and, like, the, you know, tenacity I play with um, whenever, you know, whether it's communication or, you know, hitting, you know, the player, I think, you know, uh, I just try to embody that and how hopefully the players uh, play off of that too. As uh, Coach, Coach Frabel uh, reminded you guys that, that, that David Questenberry is – Oh, that's been an emphasis this this week, you know, uh, the offensive lineman leading us in a uh, first fumble, which is pretty funny, but it's real. So we need to, you know. Has he brought that up more than a yeah, time or two? Yeah, yeah. He makes sure we know. You guys have been the green dot. You've been the green dot guy a time or two this year. What's that responsibility like, and how is it different from just from when you don't have it? Um, I mean, I had to uh, take the green dot in my rookie year, you know, playoff. So um, I think, you know, just me. Doing it early, just being, it's just like second nature. I mean, of course, when we go against uh, tougher crowds and a lot of crowds, it's hard to communicate because you can't really hear it. But, you know, uh, that's a big responsibility. So I just make sure, you know, I just take uh, that into account, make sure everybody get the call. Is that normally a bigger problem at home, man? Yeah, but hopefully, you know, sometimes we're on defense, uh, you know, they could probably hear us more. Well, my, my teammates could probably hear us more. At Seahawks, it was, you know, that was a challenge.